Hi beauties! Today I'm going to show you how I made this corsage. This is a corsage I'm making for my brother's wedding. They're having it on a cruise, so they can't use real flowers. So these are silk flowers. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is just a whole bouquet here of flowers. And all you're going to do is pull off the layer so that the stick is just there by itself. You don't need that, so you'll need the rose that comes with it, any little flowers, and the greenery. We're also going to use some thick ribbon, and I'll show you what that's for. And then we're going to use um, just some small binding ribbon, uh, seam binding ribbon. And then we're going to use some organza ribbon as well. Now all my ribbons are from Stampin' Up. Um, everything else is from Hobby Lobby. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do first is we're going to take the seam binding ribbon and we're going to go ahead and do probably about 15 inches or so and just The uh, longer it is, the it needs to go around a wrist and be able to tie nicely. So there you go. You'd rather have it longer than shorter. Uh, I also bought some of these little uh, flowers and some of these little um, pearl picks. And so let's go ahead. These were also at uh, Hobby Lobby. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut off these leaves here. Cut down, it's already down enough. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit so that it has just a little tiny there. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut those as well. I'm going to leave these a little bit longer because I could always cut them later. Then I'm going to take the thick um, piece of ribbon. This one is uh, just a two-toned one and a half inch wide ribbon and I'm going to take that about four inches or so and what we're going to do is this will be the base for our glue and all this is going to be done with just a hot glue gun and all the pieces we see here so first thing we're going to do is take this here and you're going to put some hot glue here and some hot glue here and then you're going to take this and just bring it over a little bit there so it has some on the side and some on this side and then just let that dry. The glue is hot, so be careful. And then on this one, you're going to put it on this side, a little bit in the middle, and a little bit on this side. And you're going to just bring that over. And there you go just push it flat and now you have a base to start gluing and I'm going to take this little bit off so it makes nice and clean all right next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our um, leaves we're just going to go up the side here and you can put a little here and a little here just to hold your leaves in place and that also is going to add to your base where you'll be gluing. Okay, so now we've got that all glued down. The glue hasn't dried or set quite yet, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and move forward. Next thing we're going to do is, um, well, we'll save that for, for later. We're going to grab our organza ribbon 
and use that. And you're just going to make little, little guys here. They don't have to be too long. And I'm going to use six of them. So you can always cut them um, if you make them too long. I'm just going real quick. And it doesn't matter if it is at an angle or straight across, just you're going to do a quick job here. So then you're going to take these, a little bit of glue, and glue them together. And this is where you'll start sizing them up. So if you need to, um, you know, make them a little bit longer, you can. But just make sure these little loops are about the same size. So you're going to put the glue on this end, then make the loop size that you want. Okay. We're just going to continue to do these with the remaining. This one is a little short. But we will see if that works. If not, we'll just do another one. The glue is hot. I'm getting it on my fingers. Make sure you don't do that. But for sake of time, I, I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. So I'm just going to put a bunch of glue here. And we're going to just start putting them on. Whoo, that was hot. Be very careful when you're doing this because that was quite hot. And just make sure that you are um, making them about the same size. So I've done four so far, and now I'm going to put my rows on. I'm going to get this so I want the rows to stay nice and firm in there. And I'm just going to put that facing toward this large leaf. Then I'm going to take these little guys and put some glue on here. And we're going to have them coming out the sides there. And I don't really care for this one, so I'm just going to go back. I only need to make four of these, so I'm going to go back and cut off one of these extra ones here. And that is much better. So I'm going to cut that down and then glue this one. and we're going to have that one coming off this side. It's really coming together very nicely. So then I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to peel one off. So I have that here. I'm just going to cut it down. And I think I'm going to cut it even shorter. I don't want to cut it all the way off because I want to have something that's going to stick to it, but I am going to put a lot of glue um, all around this uh, flower and the base and the back. 
So don't worry about having too much glue because you would rather have these flowers not fall off you know, during the wedding, the dancing, all of that fun stuff that's going to happen at a wedding. So then the last part we want to do is add these guys in there just to give it a little bit of uh, nice beauty. And we're going to take that add some glue to it. And just kind of stick it in the back here. Again, be careful of your fingers. Alrighty, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use those last two here just to finish it off. You're just going to move that flower out of the way and stick it on in there. And the same with the other side. And there we go. A nice little wrist, woo, a nice little wrist corsage there. Okay. Now, this was the second one I did. They did. I first went to the dollar store, um, just real quick, and bought these little flowers here, some of these flowers, and these flowers, and I made what I thought they were looking for, using that thick ribbon and made this guy which came out really nice this would be really good for like if uh, somebody was having a girl at a bridal shower put this on their wrist or Mother's Day Easter but this was a little too big for them they wanted the smaller so it was I was very glad that I tried out the dollar store flowers first um, I'm able to make a whole bunch of these like I think five or six of these for about three dollars because I already had the ribbon so I mean it is so much uh, less expensive when you just buy the flowers yourself even even these I bought um, they were from Hobby Lobby so they were a little bit more expensive um, this was on sale at $7.99 and it was 50% off I believe on the silk flowers this week and so even this I less than less than 20 bucks I'm able to make um, as many of these as I want up to up to at least six with these flowers so much better than the price that they were asking for on the cruise boat so all right beauties I hope you enjoyed this video I always enjoy making them for you please give me a thumbs up like and subscribe for future videos and again thank you so much and have a great day Bye.